Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading for the end of February. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aries, this is a love connection reading. So this has to be a connection you believe you have with somebody. You definitely do have to know each other. Don't necessarily have to be together. So we'll see what kind of energy we get. And please keep them in mind. It can be past, present, or future. And this reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus in any of those placements. doesn't have to be all. And down below in the description, if you're not sure of your chart, you can uh, follow the link to get your free birth chart. Also down in the description box, um, decks I'm using, social media, your playlists are down there. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, I do consider all of them timeless. You're welcome to do that. How to reach out for personal reading. I don't know. Did I say that already? Um, social media, uh, how to tip or donate, uh, send a gift. All that information is below. And I'll also pin some of that to the top comment in the comment section. Okay. Aries. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. So love connection reading for Aries at this time. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. Only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. If it's not making sense for you, then it's probably not your reading. Please don't try to make it fit. So that being said, let's see what we get here with the Zodiac Oracle for Aries at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much for Aries. Okay, feeling that one wanted to stick in my hand. Water. So you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Now the water energy is very fluid. It goes, it's very flowing. Um, it's healing. It's soothing. It's about deep love and emotions kind of energy also. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. So Aries, this deck here, first thing I'm going to do is pull an overall energy between you, the person you're thinking about at this time see what the love energy is like and then after that I'll pull one for you one for them how you're feeling about each other and the connection and then we'll clarify that with the tarot and then we'll clarify what the actual connection is advice for the connection possible outcome of the connection and we'll get extra messages at the end with the angel answers so let's see what we have for Aries at this time in love for Aries please Feeling that one. Energy between you and whoever you're thinking of. So we have nurture. So we have the Empress energy. This is a good energy. So this is... Um, now the Empress always gives birth to something new, but doesn't have to be a new connection. It could just be a very nurturing, caring, giving kind of energy. You both... A lot of I feel with the water, a lot of deep feelings and emotions between the two of you. It's a very caring, nurturing, giving kind of relationship. Um, you may see this person as, that's the empress, as an empress. They see you as an emperor. You are the emperor in the tarot with the Aries. And this is the empress. So this could be a soulmate to inflame connection here that you're in with the water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And uh, I see a very, very good connection here. So we'll see. All right. And you got like the sun back there too, which is very good energy. A lot of good energy I'm getting. Okay, so let's get one for you and one for your person, Aries. Okay, I'm feeling that's you and that's them. Okay, this side is you, that side is them. But if you feel like at any time the energies need to be reversed throughout this reading, please feel free to do that. Aries, what do you have here? So you have Choose Your Battles. This is Seven of Wands energy, fiery, passionate energy. It's your energy. So... You know, this could be about being defensive, on guard. Um, you know, this could be defending your person, defending the relationship. Or this could be you uh, defending yourself or being defensive against this person, though I don't really feel that. So let's see what your person has. So we have the Ace of Swords kind of energy here. So that is like mental clarity. So they're very clear thinking, they, they're they very uh, open, they're honest, um, they're not afraid to cut away things no longer serving them, they stand up for themselves, they don't tell it like it is. Uh, they're very, very, very clear minded. This is a Ace of Swords, like a brand new beginning based on clarity, truth, clarity, open communication. 
So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So I just feel like, I don't know, let's see. So we have the three of wands energy. So this is about making plans and decisions for the future, but it's also having to wait for some reason. So there's a waiting here. Three wands, seven wands. So the three wands is about patiently waiting for the right time to take the lead. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here for you, Aries. What's going on? Somebody's waiting here to take the lead, take control of the situation. Hmm. What's going on? All right. So, Aries, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading. Thank you to everybody for supporting the channel really really does mean a lot to me we're almost at 10,000 subs and i want to do that by mid-february and we're almost there so thank you so much and i may be doing something special for 10,000 subs so keep an eye out for that all right so why is choose your battles here for aries okay i feel like those are it already so we have strength and we have the four of wands are you serious right now the Four of Wands is my Twin Flame cards. And strength here is very strong, strong, deep connection, strong bond. It's about being courageous and brave, having willpower, determination. Yeah, you're not afraid here. You know how strong of a bond this is. You know it's like swin, uh, Twin Flame soulmate <laughs> energy. And you're not afraid to fight for this person. You're not afraid to stand up for this person. You're not afraid to take the lead when necessary. Um, with this person or if anybody interferes with this person you're not afraid to be that leader when necessary because Aries is the emperor which is like a leader so let's see wow okay so let's see it's like you can be quiet and still you know here with the strength just kind of quiet and still when you need to be but then when you do need to be you're not afraid to take that lead in battle for this person or stand up for them or defend them or defend the connection or defend yourself wow the lovers are you serious right now it's another soulmate twin flame card so <laughs> your person uh knows okay this is they have that mental clarity and i had gotten that right when i pulled it and i didn't say it and spirit's like okay that always spirit always does that to me if i don't say it what they're telling me and then they give me the card and i have to say it so this person's had mental clarity from the beginning this is my soulmate this is my twin flame this is my person with the lovers here and the king of wands that's her energy so yeah <laughs> so they're all up you're all up in their energy yep so they know they have clarity that uh this aries this my king of wands is my soulmate my twin flame you know that too, and you're not afraid to, um, wow, you're like both sitting in the same energy. You're not afraid to fight for this person when you have to, take the lead when you have to, defend them when you have to, stand off of this when you have to. And they're like reaching out here. You know, they may have gone through a transformation here with the butterfly themselves, but, and maybe you help them, but. They're like reaching out to the king of wands like that's my person that's my lover that's my soulmate that's my twin flame wow 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 nice energy here i feel like this is a really good connection and i feel like this is someone you've been with for a while so let's see what the actual the star so divinely guided and wow divinely guided energy here faith hope optimism healing you know this person, I feel like you know this person was divinely guided, sent to you. Healing. I feel like you help them heal or transform over something here. Wow. Now we have the Knight of Wands, very fiery, passionate energy. Could be just a lot of action, you know what I mean, between the two of you, because uh, we do have the lovers here. Very strong attraction, connection, bond very fiery passionate go-getter kind of energy between the two of you it's like you saw that person and you just went after them nine of cups so wish fulfillment 
again, and the star is also about wish fulfillment. So it's right in the middle here, connecting the two of you, happiness, joy, wish fulfillment in every single way. Wow. What else here for Aries? Now we got the three of wands. So three of wands on the three of wands. So it's again about waiting for your ship to come in or waiting for the right time to take the lead or waiting for the right time to move forward. So why is that here? Why is that here? Why is that here for the three of wands for the situation? The high priestess energy. So that's gut, intuition, higher knowing, spiritually connected, can also be secrets. High priestess doesn't really say much. I feel like this person maybe had a secret that they were going through a transformation or something or dealing with something with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is also a very victorious new beginning. So they could have been going through a, a new beginning in their life, a transformation. And maybe they were afraid to tell you about their what they were going through because they didn't know like your re what your reaction would be. So I think they waited. Um, their intuition told them to wait to tell you because this is a very strong connection bond and they didn't want to ruin it. It was a wish fulfillment for the two of you. But I feel like they did finally tell you because you have the star over here. So I think you, you really helped them in their situation and helped to uh, heal them kind of energy. I feel like you were placed in their life for a reason to help them on their journey, to help them heal. Maybe you went through the same thing too that they went through or a similar situation. So you were able to give your experience to them to help them also heal on their journey. Wow. Okay. I don't know where that's coming from. So that's a message for somebody. I feel like you took the lead here also and helped them on their journey to heal. Yeah. Six of Pentacles really balancing each other out here, really balancing each other out. This is um, advice for the situation is to keep balancing each other out, keep working on this connection together. Um, you know, that communication, um, stability, love, balance, a lot of pentacle energy. So a very stable, balanced energy. So, wow, it's nice energy. So what else here? Now we have the king. Wow, a lot of pentacle energy here. So to keep this stability... Uh, in this connection is to just keep working at it. That equal give and take between the two of you, communication, love, affection, everything. To just keep doing what you're doing. King of Pentacles is very abun abundant, prosperous. It's about, you know, growth, expansion. Um, they're very stable, practical, smart, wise, good with finances kind of energy also. It's a nurturing, giving kind of energy. King or queen, doesn't matter. And the two of cups. Are you serious, Aries? What kind of reading is this? Is this like a fairy tale? Are you feel like you're in a fairy tale right now? <laughs> two of cups. So soulmate union. Again, soulmate union. Love and emotions. Yeah, so <laughs> your advice is to keep doing what you're doing. You know, sharing the love, the soulmate. You know, two people in love soulmate to keep the stability in here you know maybe you're the one that kind of keeps everything together keeps everything stable but you work on it together also because there is equal give and take but maybe for some reason you may be the more stable grounded one or the one that's good more uh practical smart good with the finances kind of energy wow it's good energy here aries wow i feel like i'm reading a fairy tale for you, Aries. So let's get um, outcome of this connection. We said something flip here. So we got the Hermit energy. This is about going in, reflecting, thinking, doing inner journey, uh, soul searching work, spending time alone, or going on a retreat. Maybe you guys need to also get away, spend some time alone. Just the two of you. 
you because we do have the three of pentacles here so you could have other people around you it could be family members co-workers or something like that so maybe you need to like just get away the two of you somewhere on a vacation or something the star the star again this deck has uh two repeating cards it's the star and i believe the nine of wands so the star here again faith hope optimism divinely guided energy healing wishes and dreams coming true wow all right so maybe you guys are wishing to like go on a vacation or get away or just the two of you spend some quality time alone the moon energy wow a lot of majors here so again a lot of deep feelings between the two of you you feel like this is a fairy tale a wish a dream come true um the moon can also be about can be about secrets and not seeing things clearly being kind of disillusioned in the moonlight um kind of energy but you got the moon and the star the moon does represent the divine feminine the sun represents the divine masculine so but we got three majors here the hermit the star and the moon so maybe you're planning i mean you're wishing and you're hoping with the hermit is like just to get away on a retreat the two of you alone and you don't see with the moon it's like you're not really sure how to plan this to get away you're not really sure how you're going to do it maybe it could be finances it could be work it could be family or something here obligations life obligations that are kind of holding you back because you see a lot of things here so it could be anything see what's on the bottom of the deck the fool so this is you know taking a leap of faith uh it's usually about an, a, a new leap of faith starting over starting fresh um maybe you want to move with the hermit i mean the hermit usually is about <clears throat> going off alone kind of energy but i'm getting the star too with distance so maybe you know maybe you are wanting to like move and you're not really sure uh like, because I do see mountains here. So maybe you want to move and you're not really clear or sure how to do that. So you can start over, start fresh, go somewhere where it's sunny and warm kind of energy. Page of Wands. So some sort of good news may come in here or offer or something exciting that may uh, help you to uh, get over the conflict here about what to do. If you want to move or go on vacation or something like that, some sort of good news or offer may come in that will end some sort of conflict. Because now we have the sun. Are you kidding me? Sun and moon. we got divine feminine, divine masculine. So definitely soulmate twin flame energy here written all over this. This is two people that were divinely guided into each other's lives for a reason, for a purpose, for a lifetime. Wow. <laughs> And now we have the sun, so total happiness, joy, fulfillment. And didn't I just say wanting to move somewhere where it's sunny and warm and now the sun is coming out? Are you serious right now? So, yeah, this is your happiness, your joy, success, victory, healing, enlightenment, happy home and family um, kind of energy. Everything positive with the sun. This is also a soulmate twin flame energy. So we do have the nine of wands. This is like the wounded warrior, you know, been through a battle, a struggle, and a fight. I feel like you both have been through something here. But I feel like it's more in your past because it's now, it's like looking like a shadow of your past. Like just something you see now in black and white, like in the distant past. Something you both fought through. But here's, uh, it could be apologies or just loving communication. Um, here with the page of cups between the two of you very loving i feel like a very loving uh connection i think you've both been through something but you know I, I feel like some time has passed now and you just look at it as something of the past because there's been healing enlightenment victor victory success i mean everything positive with the sun or wanting to travel somewhere sunny and warm move somewhere sunny and warm spend time alone but conflict here but i feel like some good news or something exciting comes in here that allows you to take this new start leap of faith here and either planning this like exotic vacation you've been wanting to take or move or something here 
is going to allow you to do that with the full energy. Wow. So we have Aries. We have you, Aries. And we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Empress here, which is um, Libra and Taurus, I believe. Yep. And then we have, let's see, Gemini, Leo, Sag, Aries, uh, Leo, Aquarius, Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aquarius again, Cancer, Pisces again, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gem, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Leo, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So a lot of energies here. Wow. I feel like I just read like a fairy tale. I feel like you're, I feel like you're living in a fairy tale. I feel like, wow. I feel like this is like too good to be true kind of energy. All right. So Aries, Aries, Aries. Let's get, let's get some, uh, Closing messages for you, Aries, with this deck. I do ask Aries if you're new and you like my style, energy, how I read. Please feel free to check out my channel. And, oh, my candle went out. Hmm. And uh, if you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. You have about five uh, readings a month. And if you do, thank you so much. So let's get some closing messages here for you. I like this one and this one and this one. Don't stop. So yeah, don't stop. Keep doing what you're doing in this connection. Don't stop. Wait. Oops. In in the near future. So again, and we did have that energies of waiting here with the three of wands here and the three of wands there. So Again, it could have been that energy of this person. They were going through something in the past, but they waited for the right time to tell you because their intuition told them to do that. Um, energy also. Or this is telling you not to jump too fast to either like book a vacation or go away or move suddenly. Um, if you don't think it through clearly, I think it's just telling you to wait, but in the near future, I think things will turn around. If some of you are planning, like trying to plan a vacation or move or something like that. Let's just get one more for Aries. Then we have reconsider. Hmm. Yeah, reconsider. Don't take any fast action or not think things through clearly. You don't see things clearly with the moon energy. But we wishing and hoping for really think about it before jumping or doing something prematurely because it may backfire especially if it's like an exotic expensive trip or like just moving suddenly without really considering all your options or you know really just waiting it out see how it goes kind of energy then we have yes so yes whatever you're planning whatever you're wanting to do it's going to happen so just be patient it's not an exclamation point, yes. So it's not telling me. It's, so it's telling me it's not going to happen like right now, but it will. Whatever you, you know, you're wanting here. Wow, Aries, that was quite a reading. So thank you so much for stopping by, and best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.